shop between the guys working on the trailer, the radio, all the other stuff. But it did just get done. We had a hole rubbed in the line on the clutch cable on this one using the Capri bleeder and uh, holy crap what a difference. Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. Oop, sorry, doing multiple videos while I got the chance today. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about this vacuum brake bleeder, which can also be used for breeding out, uh, bleh, bleeding out a hydraulic clutch on a semi-truck or anything else that happens to have a hydraulic clutch with an actuator where you can access it with a standard uh, fitting and uh, bleed valve. There we go. Sorry, got tongue-tied there. So the model number on the Capri vacuum brake bleeder is model number 21029. Now, as I step to the side here, um, this, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a link to the unboxing I did over here. Now, on that, when I did get this from Capri, they happened to say, hey, we've got something we think you if you'd like to try it well uh, about a week beforehand we had a hydraulic well hydraulic clutch issue we had to replace the hose and the master cylinder and the slave cylinder on one particular tractor and trying to bleed those out just takes about 20 to 30 minutes of shear pumping non-stop two three hundred times or however much it really takes so I was more than happy to say, uh, I'd be more than happy to try it. Now this is where I'm gonna start, gonna try to inset some footage somewhere over here because uh, as I said in the unboxing video of this, it'll be nice if I go to use it. Hopefully I don't have to use it too soon because routing all the stuff is a pain in the butt. But uh, was able to use it about oh, four or five days after uh, they sent it out to me. The only thing that I had to do was I took the quarter inch nipple off of here and uh, hooked it up with the same 3 8 fitting that we have for our shop air. And this will run off of shop air. So I think it's rated for what, 100 and uh, up from 40 up to 170 PSI working pressure. That's a lot of pressure. But it comes really simple. You get your hose, which goes right into there, and you hook this onto your brake bleeder and hook up your air hose. And this is going to be a little bitty pointer from my learning experience the first time I used it. Needless to say, the whole clutch system wound up getting a flush. Uh, <laughs> uh, I filled this up to, well, that's in liters. Okay, so it'll hold a one and a half liters of fluid. Here's the air compressor. Does come with a parts manual. And uh, let's see. Yep, that's just the parts manual and your instruction booklet. Real easy. You hook this up to your bleeder, hook up your air, make sure your reservoir is topped off, and then you want to slightly crack your bleeder valve because you're going from one end to the truck to the other end, in my case, uh, for semi-trucks. Uh, monitor how quick it's going down, top off if needed. So just a little bitty pointer from what I learned. Uh, oh, which it does have a locking handle, which is how you engage the vacuum on it. So when you hook up your air, you'll be blowing air, but that starts pulling vacuum. What could be simpler, right? Uh, you go ahead, start pulling vacuum, monitor your uh, reservoir, be it brake reservoir, hydraulic clutch reservoir, whichever. And as soon as you're pretty sure, well, when you start to see this, start to fill up just a little bit, go ahead, uh, close off your bleeder and uh, the reason I'm 
inserting inserting some of the footage up here is because a uh, little tripod I had kind of got knocked around uh, here and there a little bit when I was underneath the truck doing it. Uh, go ahead, lock it off. You can flip the switch at that point in time, releasing vacuum up to your bleeder or within the uh, res this reservoir. And go ahead, top off your other reservoir, then start pumping. With using this I literally only had to pump the clutch 20, maybe 20 times total. So 30 seconds of pumping, and it was good to go. Uh, huh, overall, talk about a time saver, literally an arm saver, as you're standing there alongside of it because, well, clutch pedal's about yay high as you stand next to the cab, pumping it nonstop back and forth. You get tired after a while. So, Capri Tools Vacuum Brake Bleeder. Uh, and there's a number of other models of brake bleeders out of here. Uh, he bought one the following week off of the Snap-on truck for a manual. Well, because for his vehicles or if we have to do a service call where air isn't accessible. Uh, this, I think, runs around $80. I'll annotate it down below. Uh, the Blue Point one, which came as a full kit, and I'll find some place to insert a picture in here or overlay, uh, what have you, is ran him about $130 for the uh, hand vacuum pump, but it was a full kit. Now, I've seen some other kits like what he picked up that uh, cost a little bit more uh, on Amazon. Uh, through the tool catalogs, like the catalog Napa drops off to us, or our uh, uh, Midwest Wheel, or some of our other parts suppliers, our Volvo dealership, they get one of those big catalogs that they uh, bring out to us every month. And uh, Amazon obviously is becoming a strong arm in the tool industry as far as dealing goes. Uh, Capri's here for, like I said, the $80 that it would cost if you plan on using them or you plan on really having a kind of a something to make it a lot more time I'm tongue-tied you guys know what I mean it works and it does work effectively and it's easy to use hook up air go uh, one little tip though with the bleeder valve that this comes with let me see if I have it here I know lack of preparation on my part and <laughs> hold on. Oh, well, just comes with a regular quarter inch nipple if you got three eighths here or whatever you have. Um, the nipple on this one does have a little bitty piece, just like a dab of super glue in there as a factory Loctite from the factory. So when you go to uh, unscrew it, be careful. Just take your time, maybe warm it up just a touch. Don't heat it up, but just warm it up and uh, might be able to break it free a little bit easier uh, just to give you guys a heads up as well but outside of that uh, another win from Capri yes they did sponsor this tool but I haven't come across even beating the ever-living hell out of some of the tools that I've bought of theirs uh, before that I knew they did a whole lineup they're putting out decent stuff so I don't have any particular complaints yet. I got some complaints about Snap-on and I got some complaints about Harbor Freight and uh, odds and ends things. Uh, so far though, from Capri, I haven't come across a lemon. So, till later all, remember shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. If you screw something up, somebody could die. Uh, you're looking for a shop tool, uh, $70, $80-ish maybe. Uh, like I said, I'll annotate that down below along with some links. There you go. Uh, you're going to be 
doing stuff a lot or doing stuff that's a real pain in the butt, especially if you're solo, it's an option. But until then, uh, this is shop use tool. We've been keeping it here in the shop. And we like it. So there you go. Later. Uh, literally, it works better with two people. Uh, one watching the reservoir, if you're able. I've been up and back, kind of back and forth, keeping an eye on things. And keeping an eye on things down here as far as uh, sucking fluid through. And uh, it pulls vacuum awesome. Um, <laughs> a little bit too much as I go back out of focus here. Alright, so that saved me an unlordy. I go out of, back out of focus here. I'll go like this. And um, yeah, like within five pumps, I already had resistance. Within 20 pumps, as I go back out of focus, had a. Uh, already almost full resistance on the hydraulic clutch for this thing. Wish we would have got one a long time ago, but uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a time saver, definitely a life saver, a little bit of setting it up, getting used to it, like I was saying, and run back and forth underneath the truck to up top, make sure there was plenty of fluid in the reservoir as I was drawing it through. Had to refill it a couple times just because uh, pulling that much fluid through. <coughs> but uh, definitely a time saver, definitely awesome. Uh, only back draw is, is uh, air operated, but that's a plus, it's air operated. You know, it's hitting this for a shop tool, this thing's gonna work awesome. Capri, good job on this, and uh, yeah, keep up the good work. <laughs>